For these tests, you are going to need your soil sample, crucibles, a way of numbering the crucibles, tongs, a scale, a drying oven or a regular kitchen oven, and a muffle furnace or Bunsen burner. You will also need a calculator, hot pads, and a way of recording results. To begin with, number several crucibles. This is crucial if you are to keep track of your results. Each crucible must now be carefully weighed. Make a data table and enter in the weights of your crucibles. Now put some of the soil from the sample into each of the crucibles and weigh them again. Put these weights into your data table, being sure to note that the soil is wet. Now subtract the weight of the crucible from the combined weight of the crucible and wet soil. This gives you the weight of the wet soil alone. Do this for each crucible containing soil and enter these weights into your data table, noting that the soil is wet. To dry the soil, you can use a special drying oven. Set the power control to medium. The temperature should be set to 125 degrees Celsius. Put the crucibles into the drying oven and let the soil dry overnight. If you don't have a drying oven, you can use a kitchen oven set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Put each of your crucibles on some kind of pan or sheet and leave them in overnight. On the next day, carefully remove each crucible from the oven. Weigh them again and record the weights in your data table, noting that the soil is now dry. Now you need to subtract the weight of the crucible from the weight of the crucible and dry soil combined. This will give you the weight of the dry soil alone. Do this for each crucible containing soil and be sure to record these weights in your data table noting that the soil is now dry. The moisture percentage of the soil is determined by dividing the weight of the dry soil by that of the wet soil. Multiply the answer by 100 and that will give you the moisture percentage. Do this for each crucible containing soil. You may want to average the numbers to get an overall percentage. To calculate how much organic matter is in your soil, you first need to burn it away by putting the crucibles in a muffle furnace. The furnace should be set to 400 degrees Celsius. After three hours, carefully remove the crucibles from the muffle furnace. If you don't have a muffle furnace, you can use a Bunsen burner. You will need to have a way to safely hold the crucibles above the Bunsen burner. Each crucible will need to be above the flame of the Bunsen burner for about a half hour. Weigh the crucibles again and put the weights into your data table, noting that the organic matter is no longer in the soil. Now subtract the weight of the crucible from the weight of the burned soil and crucible combined. This gives you the weight of the burned soil alone. Do this for each crucible containing soil and record these weights into your data table, noting that the soil has had the organic matter burned off. The inorganic percentage of the soil is determined by dividing the weight of the dry soil by the weight of the burned soil. 
Multiply that number by 100 to get the inorganic percentage. Subtract that number from 100 to get the organic percentage. Remember to do this for each crucible that contains soil. You can average these percentages to get overall percentages.